what's up everyone uh welcome to two-tone talks a uh, new segment where i'm going to be talking about issues in the gaming community uh issues with me in general stuff like that um but today my first two-tone talks is um is pretty important um I wanted to address something that I've been thinking about for a very long time, and it's been really tough trying to figure out a way to express myself on the matter. So uh, I'll start with a brief history. Um, for the past 10 years, I've been part of one of the fastest growing and awesome competitive gaming scenes here in the Midwest, uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. My crew and I are some of the best in the Cincinnati area, and we're decently well known among the community. Uh, if I had to ballpark it, the number of tournaments uh, that I've attended for Melee is somewhere around the uh, 60 to 70 range, um, and a handful of the recent few I've consistently placed top 8. Um, I'm actually the only one from my crew that hasn't won a tournament, uh, not including you know little house tournaments and things. Um, uh, some names that people from the Cincinnati area are going to recognize, you know, Fear, Megachuck, uh, TOGP, and Salt. They've all won some locals with a decent number of entrants, and usually I place somewhere around 5th or 7th. Um, it's taken a lot of hard work and dedication to reach a level where I feel comfortable going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best around and, you know, giving them a run for their money. Uh, you know, it took long nights of, you know, getting off of work, heading straight to my room and firing up the GameCube, you know, grinding out tech skill practice and perfecting combos and things. Um, as a lot of people may know, I was obsessed with this game. Um, there was no scene around for traditional fighters at the time, so uh, I took all of my knowledge, you know, everything I learned from playing uh, Street Fighter and, and games like that, and uh, applied it to Smash, spending basically all of my time and energy on getting better. Um, and now it's 10 years later. Um, I'm a respectable player with a lot of hype victories and hard losses under my belt, and uh, I'm now in the unique position where I can step back and take a look at the game in a subjective light without getting caught up in the, you know, the majesty of it. And, uh, and here's what I've learned. Uh, to be competitive at Melee, you, you have to have the time. Number one, you have to have time. You have to practice and go to tournaments as often as you can, play against the best around constantly, spend your money and have a positive mindset throughout all the trials and tribulations that come with what seems like a snail's crawl of improvement each time. Um, that being said, I have made my decision to retire from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, I have a lot of things going on in my life, and I don't have the free time to go to tournaments and practice like I used to. I have friends, family, you know, a writing career, a band, a YouTube channel, etc., etc. You know, throw work into the mix, and, and I'm just spread like way too thin. Now, listen, Sean, because I know you're sitting there shaking your head and rolling your eyes right now, but hear me out. You know, I don't, I don't have the passion for Melee like I once had either. You know, I remember we can sit down and play from like 11 in the morning to 3 in the morning, you know, hours and hours, and, and just have a ton of fun with it. Um, I think about doing that now, and my stomach turns. Like... I still love Melee, don't get me wrong, I always will, but I think now is the time to hang up the sword. And this isn't another hiatus, you know, where everyone's saying, oh, whatever, Two-Tone, you'll come back, you always do. No, no, I I'm, I'm done for good. Like, for real, my controller has been used mainly for Mario Party in the past couple of weeks, and you know what? As weird as it sounds, it's been some of the most fun I've had with it for a long time. You know, that's not to say Melee hasn't been an absolute blast, though. Um, had I not played Smash, I wouldn't have gone as many places or have met 
you know, the awesome folks that I have along the way. You know, um, Casey, Steve, uh, you know, Mudkip, Shiro, Rob, Aaron, Team Nick, all of you guys are cool as hell and accepting. Um, House of Fear, you know, never would have gotten as awesome as it did had Dylan and I not brought Garrett into the scene, you know, <laughs> and, and gotten him interested in learning the game. And I feel like I've made my impact on the Cincinnati Smash community and reached a level where I can compete. And my leaving the scene is with complete satisfaction and uh, no Johns, you know, as much as that term is, is loosely thrown around these days by, you know, the documentary kids. <laughs> um, to the Smash Bros, um, Sean, Chuck, Matt, Phil, you know, this, this doesn't mean we can't still hang out. You're my dudes, you know. We met through Smash. Uh, Chuck, I mean, you made me a groomsman in your wedding, man. I was there to witness you and Mary basically falling in love and starting your life together. Um, Matt and Phil, you guys gave me a lot of, of, you know, morality and showed me that not everyone in this world is a piece of shit out to stab you in the back. Excuse my language. And, uh, Sean, dude, you're like a brother to me. I mean, you all are. You're, you're all my family, you know. Smash may have been the foundation for our friendship, but it's not what keeps it strong. You know, I love you guys. We don't say it enough. And uh, I know our crew has always been tight, but there are replacements. Um, Casey can more than easily fill my shoes. You know, his captain is phenomenal, and he's a really good guy. Uh, not to mention hype as fuck. <laughs> but uh, but as far as far as me. Uh, I'm a washed up old man now, like, the younger crowd moving into the scene has the time and patience to keep improving at an exponential rate, they have access to information that, you know, we didn't while we were playing Game Junkie tournaments back in the day, and, you know, it's hard to keep up when you're a 28 year old pizza guy with 10 billion other things on your plate. Um, you know, I will be attending as many Street Fighter 5 tournaments as I can for a short time when it comes out but not nearly the volume as I did with Smash that that's just too much you know um I'm ready to take it easy and play some damn video games instead of beating the shit out of myself to get better at a game I've been playing for a good chunk of my life um but in closing I would like to say if you have that kind of time and dedication. Smash is an amazing game, uh, you know, with a rich lore and and great players. It's definitely worth it to learn. Um, it's a lot of hard work, but you will get out of it exactly what you put into it. And uh, also, take it from a veteran. Uh, don't take your losses too hard, and don't let the salt win, guys. That d will destroy you as a player. Um, but thank you to everyone who've, who I've met on this epic journey through the world of Super Smash Bros. Melee. And I will never forget you. This is Two-Tone, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>
All you had to do was just say Tony. Oh, you just had to say Tony. You're Tony bad. Is he, he's like, all right. Yeah. All right, every, every time we, every time we say that Rob's in the lead, Tony's gonna get a sweet ass uh, dare. Fierce form. Wow, way to reply to him like oh. 15 minutes later, Shiro. You're so nice. He's just gonna, he's gonna need the dare kill every time. Yeah. And I, been, and I, and I love seeing three. Let's get four. I love seeing it because I'm a Marth main. He loves seeing the dare kill. If he gets four, what, what is that called? Is that called something? I don't know. He's well, got, right he, now he has the hat. Trick. He, he has three. He, hat he has trick. three, so he's on fire. Oh. I don't think Rob meant to do that side be there. Yeah. Oh. Hey, he did he it. Four. four. Very nice. <laughs> Disrespectful. Thank you for making my day.